about being a teenager with a disability and a service dog. And so today I'm vlogging because we're actually in New Orleans because my uncle was working up here and he found out that he had to have another heart surgery by his doctor in New Orleans. So we're just here for the next few days while that happens. He doesn't have the best health conditions, but this isn't like a super serious surgery. We think he's going to make it through, so y'all just keep him in your prayers. But anyway, while he's back in surgery, we're going to be going to the art museum and just like hanging and chilling and having some fun to get our minds off of all the craziness that has been going on. I knew I was going to vlog because me and Aubrey had plans like before we came up here to do some fun stuff around New Orleans while we're not at the hospital. So I knew I was going to vlog. I tried to vlog a little bit yesterday, but there was just so much going on with the surgery being today. I just wanted to wait until things like we actually started doing other things besides being at the hospital the whole time so yeah and this is a really good mental distraction for me you know like going to the museum and stuff so i'm excited to get my mind out of all this crap you know and god's got my uncle so everything's gonna be all right but i'm here with aubrey and sammy and my mom is in the cvs and for those of you who are new here, Sammy is my service dog in training. So we're going to go to the museum today and we're going to check out some art, which is nice because we don't have museums where we're from, do we? No. Because if we live in like a small little whole bunch, no, I'm just, our town ain't that bad. No. But we just don't have it. <laughs> hardly anything to do there besides a couple strip malls and that's it anyway so my arm is like dying from holding this so i will see you guys in a little bit and i'm pretty sure i have a hand oh i'm here with sammy and we are at the accessible entrance sammy leave it where the accessible entrance is right there so um so far this museum is pretty accessible it didn't look like it as soon as we pulled up but aubrey was able to see the entrance the accessible entrance of the museum so yeah um things in bigger cities are way more accessible than back at home which kind of sucks but you know we gotta do what we gotta do so yeah, but the accessible entrance is right there and we're about to go in. <laughs> i 
trust you as you drift apart in the air. Like the leaves riding on the autumn breeze. Like the days gone too far for us to see. We move on and live it as it is. Um, this is called, this is a portrait of Jesus Christ carrying the cross. Jesus carrying the cross. It's beautiful. And it's painted on wood. Likely one of the stations of the cross. This painting depicts Jesus falling while carrying his cross to the side of his crucifixion. The size of this painting indicates it was intended for a large church or monastery. Paint on panel, 17th, 18th century. This is Portuguese art. Now the oceanic art is in here, guys. I can take you far, far away, far enough for hey guys, so I am back at the hotel. Today has been crazy. I literally haven't had a chance to really update you guys. I tried when we were visiting my grandpa's hotel, but then I decided not to because the clips weren't really that good. So basically, today we went to the art museum, which you guys saw, that's what the majority of this vlog is. And then we went down Bourbon Street and like had lunch there, which was fun. And then I realized that Sammy needed help working on his heel because he's still in training and so he was struggling a bit. So once we visited my grandpa's hotel, I took an hour and really worked on his heel and now he's doing amazing. But while we were at Bourbon Street, there's this place, I think it's called Southern Puppy or something. So, Southern Pup. But anyway, this is what I got from Southern Pup. It's like a pet boutique kind of thing. And obviously you guys know I had to spoil Sammy. So here's what I got. First thing is doggy peanut butter. Of course, xylitol free because that's what makes peanut butter doggy safe is without the xylitol. So this is what this looks like. Um, so basically I got this because I, he has a Kong and I can't just put normal treats in there. Yeah, he has like three different styles and every time I put like training treats in there they fall out so I can't do that. So I picked up this Xylitol free peanut butter because Kongs are a really good like brain exercise. So I want Sammy to be able to learn how to use them and enjoy them and have fun and, you know, use it as a brain game, but I haven't been able to do that. So I got that for that reason. And then as far as toys, a lot of the, excuse the pig, a lot of the toys were like um, squeaky toys. And the thing with that is they're so tempting because they're all so stinking cute, but I know my 80 pound Labrador is gonna chew them up in seconds. So I had to be like, I only could pick them out certain. I only had to pick them out certain toys if I wanted to be realistic of which ones were gonna last. So I got him this pig. And yeah, so I also, got him this toy it's pretty much like a Kong so I'm gonna put the peanut butter in there and it is a uh, what are these things called fire hydrant fire hydrant so it's a fire hydrant and that's gonna go along with the Kong that he has at the house and I think I need to pick him up like a large Kong though because when I got him his I got him the puppy size, and obviously he cannot use the puppy size. This one's not. Are there different puppy Kongs? Yeah, there's like puppy, large. So I think I need to pick him up a large size Kong to put this in, but I can't. 
can't wait for him to start using that as like a activity to like exercise his brain, you know? So then, as far as treats, I got him these pup, pup tarts instead of sweet tarts. And it's funny because it literally looks like a sweet tarts box. And they are so cute. I think I'm going to pop these in my treat pouch. But yeah, so I got him. This is all that I've gotten him from the store. But I can't wait for him to enjoy these things, play with them. I think he's going to like this pig. I'm excited. As well as I'm excited to put the peanut butter in here and get to use his Kong that we have at home after much in the video with him. So that's basically all we did today. We went to the museum, walked down Bourbon Street. It was lots of fun. And then once we got to my grandpa's uh, hotel, we did some training because I realized some things that we really needed to work on. And if you don't know, my service dog in training is preparing to officially graduate his training program in December. So it is important to me that when I notice things like that, that I work on them. Because I was like, we're not from a bigger city. So I needed to work on like things when I see quirks of him working in bigger cities and stuff. So yeah, guys, subscribe and like and other stuff like that. Things are about to get crazy, especially in December as we continue to prepare for his PA test. He's doing amazing, by the way, but I just can't wait to see what all happens. So if you guys give me a if you guys want to see like stuff in the future like his little official service dog graduation and all that type of stuff please subscribe so you can check that out i think tomorrow we'll